Hey everybody and welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt and in today's video I wanted to do a short overview of some of the little things in Arc, uh, the web browser Arc, uh, that I really enjoy and are some of the reasons why I continue to use it months after switching to it as my default web browser after using Safari for like a decade. <laughs> um, I use it both on my work Mac and my personal Mac and I want to show you some of the little things that aren't necessarily like top of the box, like top of the line features, um, but little things that I enjoy. So uh, let's just jump into it. So the first thing is uh, it has obviously picture in picture, which is basically table stakes at this point for web browsers. I can resize this, move it around wherever I'd like. There's just a YouTube video playing in another window. Uh, I have media controls back here so I could pause if I want. I can resume. Uh, I can go back to the tab and, you know, all that works as you'd expect. But where Arc does better than other browsers that I'm used to, and I'm just going to make sure my camera's off because I'm already using it. Um, yeah, what's really cool is that um, I'm in a meeting right now, like I'm in a Google Meet meeting, uh, which I do at work all the time. And if I switch to another tab because I'm working in another tab, uh, whatever during the meeting, I still have access to my microphone and video uh, settings. So again, if I go over here, uh, my mic is on, you can see the animation playing. If I'm in another tab and I hit this button, when I go back to Google Meet, I'm muted. I'm actually muted and all that worked wonderfully. Go back to this other tab. I can unmute myself and you can see that works. So um, I, guess, I guess at this point I'm just proving it works, but it's really cool. I really, really like having this ability to quickly mute and unmute myself, even if that window isn't in the front of uh, my browser. So that's really cool. Um, Another thing that's really useful for me and uh, a lot of people I would suspect is I spend a lot of my day copying URLs and pasting them elsewhere. Um, and so I've got the page for Splatoon 3 up and maybe I wanna share this with somebody. So normally in another browser, you would like click into the uh, address bar and copy it. Or if you are good with keyboard shortcuts, you would command L and copy it. Um, what you can do in Arc is actually just command shift C and that's going to copy the current URL to your clipboard, and you can see it's there. And then I think Arc has a good idea of who their audience is right now, and that's enthusiasts who may want to write in Markdown. And if you need to copy a link in the Markdown format, you can do that as well. Just add option to the shortcut, and when you paste it, it's gonna be fully formatted uh, with the site title and then the URL. So that's just really nice. Like, again, it seems like a little thing, but it's something I do all the time and I severely miss it. I think that brings up the console in like some, in other Chromium browsers. Um, so I'm often bringing up the console whenever I'm using like Chrome or Edge or something. I'm like, ugh, I really like this. Um, so that's pretty cool. I also, and I'll actually close out that meeting because we don't need that uh, to be burning bandwidth this whole <laughs> video. Um, I also really like the sidebar. I can't explain it really well. Um, watch my previous video I made about kind of like the details of how it works, but I've always been a tabs on top person. Whenever there's like plugins or browsers add official support for tabs on the side, it's never worked for me. For whatever reason, this concept of like these pinned tabs, uh, your bookmarks, and then kind of just whatever you're currently working in at the bottom, this works great for me. I really love that I can rename these as well. So I could name this like my stats. And now it's gonna be, it's not a bookmark or anything. It's just a page I have open. I can call it my stats. I can call this Mastodon. I can call this uh, Splatoon. Let's get rid of that just Splatoon 3. And so you can rename tabs that you're currently working in. Like it just works with my brain. And the other thing I really like is let's say I quit out of Arc. Okay, I've quit and let's open it up again. It brings me back exactly where I left off, which a lot of browsers say they will do, but Arc actually does. And I just really appreciate that it's reliable there. Another thing I really dig is a newer feature called Profiles. Um, so they have this concept of spaces where I have this one space with these bookmarks and everything and these open windows and I can switch to this other space which only has one bookmarked page, uh, which is my uh, YouTube studio. But what you'll notice is this is logged in to my A Better Computer account, which I'll be uploading this with. And if I switch over here and go to YouTube, I'm signed into my personal account, right? Which is different. So I can switch between these two. And what's awesome is that <laughs> Unlike most browsers where your kind of sign in it persists across all your like different windows and everything, Arc lets you assign different profiles to different spaces. So if I kind of hover over here, you can see this little face icon and you can see I have my default profile set here, which is signed into all my personal accounts. In this one, which has a video icon, uh, this one is using my A Better Computer profile, which is signed into my A Better Computer accounts, uh, which is really only a YouTube account. Um, but it makes it so that I can upload from Arc and not have to like switch my account that I'm signed into in YouTube and everything. 
It's really, really nice. Um, this is a niche use case, but a more mainstream one might be if you are using this on a work computer, uh, you can have your personal stuff kind of siloed over here where you're signed into your personal accounts for the couple things that you may need to access throughout your workday. And then you can have your workspace where all, you're signed into all your work accounts and all your work stuff lives there. There's more here. I might do a full video on this, but like your extensions are also different. So this space only has one password for logging into things. But in my kind of personal general web browsing uh, space, I have one password matter and raindrop so you can like have different things like it is effectively a whole separate browser um, over here um, but i'm able to seamlessly switch between them instantly which is just awesome i've talked more than enough about that um, you should just try it um, if you can get in to use arc um, what else um, i also really love split screen so if i want to split screen um, i don't need to use any keyboard shortcuts you can set keyboard shortcuts there's actually keyboard shortcuts for a ton of things um, it's mostly the normal ones you'd expect but there's some uh, special ones and you can customize literally every single one of these um, but if i wanted to like okay i'm looking at my stats i want to put like uh like am i getting enough views to afford splatoon 3. i can put splatoon 3 over here or i could put it on this side let's put it on this side there we go i can resize these windows of course um in real time i could add a third one into the middle right like all this is nice and easy to do and if i ever i'm like okay i need to like undo this um, i can just separate all the tabs and now they're back to um kind of just being their own separate things so that's all really, really nice. I really like how that works. I never really used that feature, but like the some of these, like the sidebar working for me and like being able to put things side by side, it makes me use uh, Arc at a larger size. Like I kind of had Safari as small as possible, but Arc, I feel like makes me want to give it more space. Um, so that's rad. Um, I mentioned extensions before. All these extensions are just from the Google um, Play Store or Google Web Store or whatever. So if it works in Chrome, it works in Arc. That's awesome. Love to see that. Um, there's themes, you might have noticed that I kind of have this like yellow and orange theme uh, over here. When I switch over to my uh, YouTube one, it's more of a blue. Um, that's easy to set up uh, from your space settings. There's this theme. Um, you can go with preset ones. Uh, so they have a whole bunch of those you can select from. Um, you can go like, there's like a purple one. Maybe I want it to be a little darker. Maybe I want it to be a little in less intense. Um, I can add noise to these and everything. like. There's some good customization here uh, if you'd like to mess around with that. So yeah, tons of these uh, themes you can choose from. Um, I think they're pretty cool. You can do separate ones for light mode and dark mode. Um, but yeah, that's uh, another thing that's really nice. Um, so you can very visually, again, if you're using this for like my personal stuff and my work stuff, you can do very different colors to make sure it's clear which one you're currently working in. Um, and the last thing I want to mention is just... Um, borderless operations. So we've got the sidebar over here and maybe you don't want to see that all the time. Um, so you can hit command S and it hides it. Uh, and so now I have just this window and let me just kind of like make it a little smaller. There we go, something like that. And so now if I'm like demoing something for a client or I'm doing a YouTube video, uh, which again, these are kind of like me problems, but it's me using the browser. So these are the things I care about. I have this really nice looking way to display a website. And like my the gradient that I'm using there is all like here. It looks really nice. Like maybe I'm using kind of like a bluish background. Let me go ahead and change my theme. Um, let's go with something bluer to kind of match. Um, something like that maybe. No, that's not quite it. Let's do this. There we go. So now I have kind of this like bluish uh, border around the thing that I'm showing that I'm maybe showing in a video, showing in like a demo meeting or something. And it matches the theme. Like I've matched it to my corporate design. Like let's pretend this is like a corporate wallpaper and now it matches like the company colors. It's really, really cool that you're able to do this and it's all built in. Um, again, if you want to see more of this in detail, like how all this works, like all this is very customizable. Um, you can kind of figure out like what works for you. Um, check out my other video. I'll put a link in the description to that. But yeah, those are some of the things that I really like about Arc. And hopefully um, if you're able to get in, I'll put a link that might work, might let you in depending on the day of the week um, to get into the account uh, in the description as well. But uh, yeah, I really like this browser. I wanted to share a few of the little things that I enjoy. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.